Hey everybody, this is Raymond Camden, and today I want to share with you my experiments with using Python with the Adobe Photoshop API. Uh, I want to start off by saying I really like Python. I don't have a lot of opportunities to use it very often, so I'm still very, very new to it. Uh, but I was curious to see how hard it would be to use Python to work with the Photoshop API. And honestly, it was really, really simple. Uh, now, I had a bit of help uh, from our own sample code that I didn't know existed. Uh, I will share a link to this in the video. Um, and also, I will share a link to my sample Python scripts. Again, please take these scripts as just a simple example. If you know Python well, you know, focus on how I'm using the API, and you could probably write it a heck of a lot better than I did. Uh, but with that, let's take a look at how this is done. So the first thing that I want to do is generate an access token. Uh, to do that, I need my credentials, and that is a client ID and a client secret. I'm getting these from uh, environment variables, and I used a .env file. Uh, that looks like this, that basically does exports uh, from the command line. I can source that to set it as environment variables. Uh, it's a bit like, I guess, how Node.js.env uh, package works, except the .env format here is a bit different. But you get the idea. Uh, I have them as environment variables, and uh, you can see I grab them here. Now, getting the access token requires just doing a, a post and you could see the URL there. And again, this is all documented and I've shown this before in Node.js. Uh, really, the only difference is you know, in Python, I'm using a different library. I'm using request, not fetch. But I hit that, passing in my client ID and client secret. I can see my grant type and my scope. And then I parse the JSON and return the response. Now I will go ahead and run this and you will see there's my access token along with token type and expires. Now, probably I can modify this to just return the access token if I wanted to, uh, but I have access to all those values to use if I need it. Now, the next thing I wanna show is the hello endpoint. One thing I love about the Photoshop API, uh, because you do need to work with cloud storage, Testing may be a bit hard until you get that set up. So the API actually has a, you know, just hit me with your authentication. I'll tell you hello if it works. And so again, it's a great way to test to make sure that you've done this part correct. So we'll go to a new file. I have two functions this time. Uh, once again, my get access token, all right, and then a call to the hello endpoint. And you can see it right there. I have to pass in the token and you can see it as a header there in the authorization header. I also have to pass in the client ID as XAPI key. So I call get access token, I call say hello, and this should work. Let's see, where's my say hello? And there we go. Welcome to the Photoshop API. Now let's look at one like real example. And for that, I'm gonna be using S3 for my cloud storage. This is where, let me scroll down to it right here. Uh, this is where our sample code helped. And you can see I credited it right there uh, where I can get a pre-signed URL. And I'm gonna use this both for my input in my output. And you can see those calls there on line 57 and 58, uh, where uh, I will read from a bucket and the uh, dogs.jpg file, and then I'm gonna upload to a output folder under the same bucket. Now the main work is in create remove BG job, and we'll scroll up here. And uh, I picked remove background because it's one of the simpler APIs. Uh, I'm not using all of the particular options here. You can you know, tweak this, of course, check the docs for more information. Uh, but basically, you know, I pass in my S3 URL for input. I pass the one for output as well. And this will create the job. And you can see right there. And then if we run this, 
Let's see, remove BG. We should get a response that includes a link to the job URL. Now, this is where typically you would start polling to see how did the job perform. Technically, you don't have to, but normally you would. Like you want to see if it uh, worked correctly. So what I did is I wrote one more example uh, where I create the job and then back in my code, I have a simple while loop uh, that's going to check the status response. And if it's uh, not succeeded or failed, it's going to sleep and then run again. And so it's just going to keep checking that. And in theory, right there, we should see that it is running. And let me scroll up a little bit. And it's a little bit hard to see. It's a little messy there, but let me just scroll down to the bottom. This is the result of the last job. Uh, the, the status was succeeded, and it includes the output URL uh, and all that. Uh, but right now, uh, in my S3 bucket, I have the image that I asked the Photoshop API to work with. So again, uh, I hope this makes sense. Uh, I will link both to the sample code that I, I copied from. I will link to my sample code as well. Uh, and let me know if you have any questions.